In 2016, virtual reality will really go to your head. Expect the Facebook-owned Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive to immerse you in virtual worlds. Microsoft's augmented reality headset HoloLens is also on the way. From the head to the hands, the smartphone will continue to evolve. Even more than ever in the upcoming years, I think that we're going to see the smartphone becoming a remote control for your life, for your smart home, for your smart watch, uh, maybe even for those VR headsets. But multitasking with your phone relies on plenty of battery life. Energis has developed a transmitter that can wirelessly charge devices within 15 feet if they have this tiny receiver inside. So when you walk in your home, it's going to start charging your device automatically. But um, we allow you to prioritize what charges when as well. Apple is set to make refinements to existing products, including the Apple Watch and iPhone. With the iPhone 7, there's talk that Apple could get rid of the home button. That could allow them to have a bigger screen, but in the same size device. There's also talk about them removing the headphone jack. Your smartphone will also integrate more closely with the car through Android Auto and Apple's CarPlay technology. We could see more partnerships with traditional car makers, though, to get their CarPlay software into the vehicle and kind of power the infotainment center and the dashboard of your car. As for self-driving cars, they may not be ready for prime time, but in 2016, companies like Google, Tesla and Ford are set to make inroads. In San Francisco, Lexi Savides, CNET.com for CBS News.